Who is Jim Carls? Jim Carls really is the face of the Florida Forest Service. One phrase to, to describe my working relationship with Jim Carls, he'll give you the shirt off his back. He's always there when you need him, always ready and willing to help in whatever the endeavor or challenge is. Jim is a doer, not a talker. He's always making sure everything gets done. He's fought fires uh, all over the country. Uh, Jim's high character. He leads with character. It's one of the things that defines him. Jim's career has been so varied and touched so many different people. I don't know if there's a single moment that, that I can pinpoint, but Jim is one of those I, I can always turn to, whether it's early in the morning, late at night, anytime, and, and he'll be um, responsive with some solid information, some solid connections moving, moving forward on those issues. I'm Jim Carls. I'm the uh, State Forester and Director for the Florida Forest Service. My desire to see prescribed fire across the landscape, not just in Florida, but across the nation, really is because I've seen what it does. I've seen what it does in Florida, what it can do to reduce fuels and to open the landscape in the West. Uh, there is no negative to prescribed fire, and it's all positive. The Southeast is, is, shows leadership in prescribed burning for several different reasons, but a lot of it is the relationships that people like Jim Carls have been able to make. But quite frankly, part of it's the trust that Jim and others have been able to build with state agencies, their sister state agencies, with the National Environmental Protection Agency to help them understand the necessity of putting prescribed fire on the ground. Prescribed fire is transformative. It's like being in the woods with a torch is kind of like an artist with canvas. It's transformative in terms of what it does for the landscape. In the past, there's been a, a very poor perception or concept of prescribed burning across a wide group of folks as it being a, a bad practice and causes nothing but problems. Smoke gets in their eyes and looks horrible after a blackened uh, prescribed fire. But today, with the efforts of many, many people, including Jim Carls and Tall Timbers, the perception and realization of the many benefits of, lot of prescribed burning is uh, becoming more common with landowners. You know, Tall Timbers, I look at them as, as that key to, to everything we do in the Southeast in prescribed fire. They're the supporter of the state and federal agencies. And, and the private landowners, and they're the ones that, that help us bring it all together. They can do the research, that convince those landowners, this is the right thing to do, and have a turnkey operation that is so successful. Tall Timber's role in research and outreach is crucial. As long as I've been in this profession, Tall Timbers has been known for its professionalism, its unbiased research, um, and its ability to work with landowners and get practical land management solutions out to the general public. The information that Tall Timbers generates, the research that they do, is used in public policy making. There are not too many discussions that we have in this office relating to how we manage our forests that something that Tall Timbers has done, some research that they've done, is not used and factored into those policy decisions. When I look at Jim, I see a consummate leader. For me, I believe that everything lives and dies on leadership. And Jim has not been afraid to stand up in the face of criticism when times are going tough. And he's willing to stand up and continue to educate and continue to make sure that folks understand the value of the tools that he believes in. And for me, the one thing that really stands out in Jim Carl's is his ability to lead from the front and lead by example. And I believe in that leadership style and I believe in Jim. Forestry in Florida and really beyond Florida throughout the nation is so much better off because of Jim's service and leadership. When I came to Florida, I didn't expect to stay very long. Ended up making it a, you know, a 34, 35 year career and much of it in fire. 
And I don't think in, in that time I ever realized that, uh, that someday I'd, I'd deal with it on a national scale. It's neat, it's different, it's not what I expected, but it's truly a passion of mine that, that I enjoy. So that part of it, uh, that part of it made it easy. It made, uh, made a career go by really quick.